All right. Thank you. It's a lively, lively bunch here tonight. Yeah, lively. So, next year, I'm about to turn the big 4-0. 40. And I've unfortunately, I've reached that point in my life where most of my body has stopped growing. I say most because I noticed parts of my body, they're laughing back there, they know. Parts of my body are continuing to grow. And what concerns me the most, it's my ears. The tops of my ears have started to get really fleshy and Thick. Wait till the hair starts coming in, man. It already has. It already has. I've gone through three nose trimmers in a year. Right? So, I've got this thing where, you know, I've never been really a good looking person, first of all. Let's start with that, right? I've got this big, kind of Cro Magnon ape like brow. Very beady little rat eyes. So at my best, like 20 years ago, at my very best, I looked like a gorilla fucked a rat. <laughs> That's what I looked like at my best. Like a gore rat illa. And now, with these gigantic fleshy ears that have suddenly appeared on my head, I'm like some kind of gorilla rat elephant hybrid. Very, very disturbing. Very disturbing. <laughs> so... You don't even have a, bit, a long memory. Yeah, it's horrible. And I don't have a long memory. And I hate looking at myself in the mirror. I hate it. With this major ear saggage I have going. I've been thinking about solutions for this. Solutions. Maybe an ear brassiere of some kind. Yeah. Strap that to the... I don't know. I should invent it. Maybe I'll go on Shark Tank with that. For old guys and their big, fleshy, sagging ears. Now, you young guys in here, I'm envious of your firm, perky, small, uplifted ears. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about silicon implants for my ears. Yeah. Silicon implants. But if I do get implants, I'm afraid that people will ogle my ears. Like I'll be walking down the street and people will say, you know, get the stairs. Or even worse, somebody will try to feel my ears, see if they're real. So I don't know. I don't know about the I don't know about the whole ear brazier thing. I'm worried about ear molestation, too. I am. Ear molestation. Yeah. The thing is, if I did get ear implants, I don't think I'd be able to enjoy them. Because these ears, they're just one problem. And a life, a life full of 40 years of accumulated problems. Got lots of problems. Basically, I'm like a human flypaper for problems. I just stand there, and these problems, they come at me, and they stick to me. And they're not like, they're not like the cute little fruit fly problems that you can just kind of wave away. My problem, my problem flies are like the big, meaty, disgusting, hairy garbage flies that you see. You know, the ones that you're afraid to touch, if you do touch them, you need a shower. That's the kind of problems I have in my life. Yeah. And it's not just the ears that are drooping and sagging. And it's all their parts of the body. Yeah, there's some people, some, some guys in here know what I'm talking about. Right. It's the testicles, folks. I've reached that point where they just don't hold up firm against the body anymore. I have to wear briefs now. I was always a boxer's guy. 
right? Now, now I've got to wear briefs. I need the support. These two are in hysterics back here. I think I need to perform to the, the 40 plus crowd. I think I found my niche. No, but seriously, the other day I was swimming. I have a pool. I have a five. I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old, and I was wearing swimming trunks. Trunks don't provide support. Things just kind of hang. And I, I said, "Watch this, guys! I'm going to dive into the water." I launched my body out over the pool. It's horizontal to the water, except. Testicles have no support. They just drop straight down at a 90 degree angle. And as I enter the water, my balls are the first thing to hit the surface of the water. So picture my balls hitting the water and then 180 pounds of body collapsing down onto the balls. Oh my God. Daddy didn't surface for 30 seconds. I was curled up in a ball on the bottom of the pool. I come up, my son says, Dad, you can really hold your breath. I said, thank you, son. All right, guys, look, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much.